Hello everyone. After realizing that I could see my um, myself and like my phone in my glasses yesterday, I decided to do this one without my glasses on. So my phone actually looks a little blurry to me right now because it's fairly close to my face. I have a thing that I can sit it in, but it like, I don't know. Um, I wouldn't be able to see the entire thing, I don't think. And um, I really need to do something about my lighting. But anyway, um, <laughs> so I finished my organizing that I was working on doing um, for my bedroom and my closet. I haven't finished it for the entire house yet, but I did finish doing it for the bedroom and the closet. So um, flip this around here and you can see part underneath my desk. I have these um, weather resistant airtight storage containers. There's two there and there's two there and then... I have a couple of things that are on my desk. I went ahead and set my laptop up over behind, like next to where my TV is and to the back of it. Um, kind of between the, the TV and the printer. And Izzy realized earlier that she could see both the TV and the monitor. I was watching Bleach. It was just like, <gasps> like she had been watching it on the big TV, whatever. Well, it was actually the, um, the closing song that has the cute little animals all dancing around and everything and she had been watching it on the big tv and she realized she could see it on the laptop too and she was like oh, just sitting there like real intently watching it but anyway so what i was actually wanting to talk about right now um other than needing to find my hair but anyway um other than needing to find out something to do about my um about the shadows in my videos and um i mean i know i need to work on some lighting um, because I just, I haven't been able to find any of the size of light bulbs that we need. I don't really know what size they are. Um, they're like, you know, the ones that go in your bathroom that have the smaller, I'm doing that where you can't see it, but the smaller, um, what do you call it? The smaller base thing or whatever, um, that screws in. Anyway, they're those, and we need those for our ceiling fans and the bathrooms in my bathroom. I want to say, well, Thursday only has one of those left, but no, actually, that one blew out a while back because right now I'm using the light that is, um, it's like on the same switch as the exhaust thing in my bathroom. So I really need to get around to buying some light bulbs, but I haven't done it yet. Um, but anyway, so what I wanted to talk about today was I had mentioned some things that maybe I wanted to talk about on videos. And if anyone has anything that they would like for me to look into and talk about um i'd be more than glad to do that and i had <laughs> i had mentioned that i wanted to try and do at least one video every day i was going to do another one yesterday and i didn't get around to doing it but i was going to try to do at least two, one video every day until i got the part for my car and get my car fixed so lo and behold i made a video yesterday talking about that um i'm not actually sure if i mentioned that in the video or not but that was part of my intent and so, lo and behold, today we got the part for the car. We haven't fixed it yet, but we do have the part. So, we'll most likely be fixing it tomorrow. And then I'm supposed to work pretty much the rest of the week. And I'll be taking my son to donate plasma again. Because that's really important. Um, you know, help people out by donating your, your plasma. So, the thing that I was wanting to talk about today, really, though, the what I wanted to do my video on was one of the topics that I had mentioned, which was jobs that I have wanted to do in the past. And I thought I would start that out by do, talking about jobs I wanted to do when I was a child and why I wanted to do those jobs. So, the first job that I recall wanting to do when I was a child, that's a key word there in my stuff is recall. If I don't recall that I wanted to do it, of course, I'm not going to be able to talk about it. So there are only three jobs that I recall that I wanted to do when I was a child, like actually a child. And I'm talking like, although I was a teenager when I was about 14, I'm going to say I'm talking like 14 and younger. Um, two of these jobs I recall wanting to do basically is Far back as I can remember ever even thinking about the fact that I might one day have to have a job. So I'm going to go with probably like since I was about six or seven years old with those. And the other one, I was probably about 10 or 11 years old when I was thinking about it. So um, the first one I want to talk about 
is being a truck driver. It's a very, very important job, um, phrase that we've come to use for a lot of new jobs. With the whole COVID thing, it's essential. Being a truck driver is definitely an essential job. You help everybody. Um, there are three, well, I was gonna say there are three ways, three ways that things get to everyone. Number one, via train. Number two, via ship. And number three, via truck. But we can't forget airplanes. Airplanes also play a big part in that. So, um, but the the storage containers that you see on the backs of trucks and sometimes at stores and stuff like that, um, a lot of those come via ship, like from, say, Russia or Great Britain, um, China, Japan, Korea, someplace like that, and then they're loaded onto a train, generally um, at the harbor, <laughs> and then they're brought, you know, via train to where the trucks can haul them. So um, that's one of the jobs that I'd always wanted to do, though. My dad drove a truck. He drove a, a variety of types of trucks. The ones that I can recall him driving are a milk truck because I went on the milk truck with him. He drove a, a pallet truck a couple of times when he worked at a pallet mill. He drove, well, he talks like he drove the pallet truck fairly often, but I thought he only did it a couple of times. And I also thought he drove a log truck, but I think he said that he had never actually did that. Um, I think I was just thinking that he did because the log trucks would come to the pallet mill when he worked there. But so he drove a cement truck and then he drove a truck for Walmart for like 20 years, or I think it was just almost 20 years. I think he quit a couple of days shy, maybe a month shy of his 20th anniversary doing that. But the reason I wanted to do that was not only because my dad had done it, but because um, when, you know, knowing that he had driven a truck and like when I went with him on the truck and stuff, I got to see places that I'd never seen before. And so it's like it was a, a way that I could see, continuously see places that I've never seen and be helping people out at the same time. And so I was like, yeah, that sounds great. And it seemed like it paid pretty good. Um, it, to my understanding, pays quite a bit better now than it did then. And the regulations are tighter, but that's partly for the health of the truck driver so that they can get more rest. And that way they can stay healthier. So I think I covered everything that I had um, that I was wanting to say about that. And the a second job that I had always wanted to do, as far back as I could remember, was a waitress, um, which I did when I was 18 years old, I think. 18 to about 20 years old. Um, I, think, I think that's the only time that I did it. But anyway... Um, <laughs> But I always wanted to be a waitress. My mom's brothers managed a restaurant in Eureka Springs, which is a tourist town. I think I might have mentioned that before. And there was quite a few other members of her family that worked there. And I always thought that being a waitress looked like it would be fun. And it was another way that I could help people out, you know. And then like when I was going on the truck with my dad, I'd see the waitresses interacting with the truck drivers. And it's like, although they're away from home, um they can go to a place where they see the same faces all the time if they're going to the same restaurants and stuff and that was kind of a home away from home so to speak and so I thought you know I would have liked to have been a part of that <clears throat> of course that job didn't pay that well and then the third one that I recall the one I was talking about that I think I was about 10 or 11 years old when I decided on that <clears throat> and then <laughs> it's kind of terrible but my gramps would have us watch these shows where they had doctors doing surgery and like nurses assisting and whatnot and the other and you were actually watching the operations and stuff and he would have us watch these because he wanted us to be nurses or doctors or something and i'm like uh, that's bloody and gross and like i don't think i could ever be any kind of nurse or doctor though i, I was a um, certified nursing assistant for a while um about a year, I think it was, and I did enjoy doing that. I did that with elderly people. But anyway, the job that I wanted to do, <laughs> that, that watching those types of shows kind of scared me out of doing, if you will, 
was being a veterinarian. And my dad's parents lived on a farm, and I loved spending time with the animals, with any any animal that I could spend time with, pretty much. Um, so I briefly contemplated becoming a veterinarian. Uh, might have lasted a year, maybe two years that I contemplated it. And like I said, he was having us watch those shows because he wanted us to become something great, like a nurse or doctor. And I was like, eh, I don't think I want to be a veterinarian because it's going to be too bloody, which I have seen stuff now. I would like, you know, I, I don't know. I think these shows maybe made it look bloodier than it actually is. And I know stuff sometimes goes wrong. And it might have been like a trauma ER or something like that. I don't really know. But uh, they use suction and if you're using suction right and clamps right and whatnot and the other there's actually not really that much blood involved in that sort of stuff i realize now wish i'd known that then might be something a whole lot different now than i than what i am but anyway um but yeah so i contemplated that for a short amount of time and again you know it was a way that i could help people people who have pets i'd be helping and i would also be helping their pets and now, as I mentioned, there may have been other jobs that I wanted to do when I was a child, stuff that I dreamed about doing that I thought would be really cool. I mean, don't, you know, we watched Marcus Welby, MD. We watched um, St. Elsewhere. There were several uh, hospital doctor type shows that we watched. We watched Adam-12. We watched Beretta. We watched Chips. Um... We watched Magnum P.I., we watched, uh, I'm not going to think of them all, but we were watching quite a few police shows, private investigator shows. Um, I can't think of what it's called. There was the fire, well, I should say there was the firefighter one. I guess that was Adam 12, showed the police um, ambulances and firefighters. And for a while, briefly, <laughs> I contemplate, I was like, oh, it'd be cool to be a firefighter. I do recall that. Um it seems like I thought a couple of times whenever I, we were watching the police shows, that might be kind of cool, and then watch some of the stuff that they had to deal with, and I was like, no, nah, I feel like that might be more than I can handle, and now I really wish that I had kind of taken that path. Um, but, you know, never know what might have happened if I had done that, because I never did end up doing that, so. Um, but, yeah, I'm sure there was other stuff that I dreamed of doing. I can't talk about the stuff that I don't recall, as I said a while ago, and those are the main three that I do recall that I wanted to do when I was a child, were being a truck driver, a waitress, and a veterinarian. So, um, if, if y'all want to, you know, subscribe to my videos, like my videos, um, leave a comment and tell me what you, what you wanted to do when you were a child. It would be interesting to do that. And if it's a profession that I'm not that familiar with, maybe I'll even look into it a little bit and um, do a video about what the job was that you said you wanted to do. You know, like, um, uh, what was it that somebody was talking about the other day? A neurobiologist, um, I believe is what it was. I was watching Rizzoli and Isles, and um, Isles had said something about um, several people, a lot of people are interested in neurobiology, you know, and one of the people on the show, I think it was one of the guys, says, oh, and would those people be neurobiologists? But she was talking about the way that people's um, muscles move in their face when they're talking and interacting with other people and how you can use the mus the way, uh, the movement of the muscles in their face to tell whether they're being honest or lying and so stuff like that and that was really interesting so like i said if it's something that i'm not very familiar with um like there had been a lot of people that were talking about how they mine and did bitcoin work and i'm like i don't really know what that is so i have looked into that some so i know more about it now than i did um but yeah leave your comments tell me what your dream job was as a child and also tell me whether or not you ever did that job like um I like I said you know I was a waitress for a couple of years I was also a certified nursing assistant for about a year which was not in the veterinarian field I recently tried to get into lower level veterinarian stuff like um being my brain is saying a dog trainer. That's not what they call it. Um, anyway, being the person that 
is at the clinic that cares for the dogs while they're there. Like, um, not grooming them, just taking them out for walks, um, making sure they're fed and watered, cleaning the pens and stuff like that. I can't, I can't even think of what they call it. I, I applied for a job doing that. I also applied for a reception job at a couple of, um, veterinarian clinics and of course I didn't get any of those jobs that's why I'm doing food delivery now not right now but <laughs> that's why that's part of why that's what I do anyway I also did go to school to be a truck driver and realized the extreme amount of patience that truck drivers need to have um I like you need to, I, can't, I don't even know how to, can't even think of how to word it, but yeah, you're, you have to have a lot of patience because you do a lot of waiting for your loads and um, for the dispatch office to find loads for you to pick up and stuff like such as that, but you, you have to be able to think quick and react in the proper way to what is going on around you. That's that's what it is I'm trying to say, you know. Like if a car all of a sudden decides to switch lanes and gets smack dab in front of you and you're flying going 75 down the bypass and they're getting over in front of you because they need to take the next exit so they slow down to like 60 and it's like, you know, you, you have to be able to react to that. And um, I decided that those were not necessarily things that I could do, remain patient to the point that was necessary to be able to be a, tr a good truck driver or necessarily to be able to think really quick about the best action to take in a situation and then be able to respond to do that. Look, it's Tyler. What's up? Making a video? Oh. Look, I can flip my phone around the other way. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'll go so I can find out what Tyler wants um, or needs. Everyone have a good whatever time of day it is in your part of the world and stay positive.